What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Daviana Labanias. Today's video, I brought you guys a soft glam, okay? Soft glam, both soft glam and soft glam, get it. But you guys, a soft glam palette tutorial. Oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry to all of my loyal subscribers for being so MIA. I literally get super busy. I mean, I guess everybody's life gets super busy at some point, right? But I just, at one point, lost all motivation, like, to even do a look just on myself. Like, even when I have to go out, I hate doing my makeup nowadays. Like, it's just, like, lately, my motivation has went, like, psh. I have been not inspired at all and I just I don't know I guess I just got a little lazy I'm not even gonna lie like I just got a little lazy to film and last week I pre-filmed three videos and they were all trash like I did not like the lighting I did not like my makeup like that's what I get for filming at like 3 a.m. like nothing looked good and I just I'm so picky those of you who know me know I am so 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 picky I, you know I just I deleted all the footage I was like I don't want this no like my everything my hair was a mess like everything was just not going good for me so i went ahead and filmed this look instead and i actually love it so much more it's just so neutral so natural you guys know me that i like i lean more towards the neutrals um i really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well um if you know you already like my content and you want to like it then if not don't like it simple as that if you don't like watching me don't watch me if you guys want to see how to create this look right here it's actually kind of like another video combined with it so it's like a soft glam tutorial slash updated foundation routine because i am using a new foundation and a new technique and everything so if you want to know how to recreate this look then go ahead and just keep on watching so to start we're going to prime our eyes and i'm going to use my shape tape i'm just going to go ahead and take some of that and put it on my eyelid then taking my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend that into my eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and taking my Soft Glam Palette and a fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and be taking this shade right here. This is Orange Soda. Pat off the excess and then I'm going to go ahead and use that as a transition shade. I'm only gonna work it so much into my crease just because in the crease I don't have a lot of pigmentation going on and that's kind of what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just work this. It's probably the only shade that I'm gonna be working into my crease. Next, on a more dense, fluffy brush, I am going to take Sienna. This is a really burnt orangey shade. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess again. And doing kind of the same motion as we did with the first shade. The only difference is that this one is going to be focusing more on the outer part of your eye. For the final shade, I'm going to be taking a Morphe fluffy brush and picking up this burgundy maroon shade right here. It is called Mulberry. So for this shade, I'm going to go ahead and focus more on the outer corner and kind of just smoking it out just a little bit. Once you're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and move on and taking this Pixi Cosmetics 
liquid eyeshadow in the shade rose gold i'm gonna go ahead and take that and cut my crease with it basically because it is a liquid eyeshadow it's super easy to cut your crease with this i'm only gonna be going halfway so a half cut crease with this Once that is done drying, I'm going to go back in with that mulberry shade and just kind of blend the liquid eyeshadow in with the rest of my eye. And for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Cocoa Lashes in the shade Gigi. These are these super pretty, wispy lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and go pop those on and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and applied the falsies and they already make a huge difference with the look as it is. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face using the Pixi Rose Oil Blend and I've already used this about twice or maybe three times at most. It works so good. It goes on super... Oh! It's okay. It goes on super oily. It does feel like an oil... It does feel like an oil at first but once you finally finish blending it into your skin it feels so smooth. I would kind of say it has like a blurring effect, but it worked so, so good. And once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Smashbox primer water and just spray that on top. I love to bathe in this stuff. I'm talking like soak the whole face. Now for foundation, I have really been loving the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am the shade Warm Beige. I go ahead and take two to three pumps of this and I just dot it all over my face. And then before I start blending, I give my face another spray with my primer water. because it makes blending so much easier and I'm gonna go ahead and take the bottom of my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender and just blend away. For concealer, I have really been loving kind of mixing two of them. So one of them, of course, is going to be my um, Shape Tape. And then the other one is going to be my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Tan. I do my concealer in episodes. So I'll start off with my chin, my cupid's bow on my forehead, and my nose. So before I go ahead and blend, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. And I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Makeup Contour Stick in Oaks on You. Um, it's a lighter shade, a lighter tan shade. Now going in with this flat head brush, I'm going to go ahead and just brush downward, also kind of using like a tapping, brushing downward motion. This brush is dense, so it helps a lot with getting the perfect blend on the nose contour. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty sponge and just blend everything out. Thank you. 
So before I move on to the under eye concealer, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, taking some on the cap and setting what I have already concealed. So that would be my chin, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and my nose. Now for under eyes, again, same thing. I do one side at a time just because I don't want it to kind of dry out. So I will take my shape tape and normally just make a little triangle. A big triangle, I guess. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Bye Bye Under Eye on the back of my hand. Well, this is really thick consistency, so a little does go a long way. I know that's a really overused line, but it is true. I'll normally just take my finger and kind of tap into that product and I will just kind of tap it on to my under eye just a little bit. So it doesn't seem like it made a difference but it will, trust me, once it comes to blending. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my sponge again with my primer water and blend that out. So as you can see, it did brighten up my under eyes a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and set that with some Laura Mercier. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, obviously, and then I'll be right back. I went ahead and finished concealing and setting and all of that good stuff. Normally, I'll take my It Innovation Beauty fluffy brush and I'll just kind of do swivel motions. I'll brush all the excess off. Um, the only thing is I do like to keep my under eyes and my bridge of my nose baking for just a little longer, especially while I finish doing, I forgot what I was saying. I finished doing my under eyes with the rest of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. So taking an angled brush by Aesthetica Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead and go in with orange soda. and drag some of that under my bottom waterline. So the reason I like to let my eyes, um, my under eyes sit for a little longer is just because normally when I do my bottom waterline eyeshadow, um, it has a lot of fallout and it's easier to brush off the fallout when it's still with the powder. So that way it doesn't really make a mess on our eyes. Then taking that same brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Sienna. And doing the exact same thing. Now going in with this Real Techniques um, dense brush, I'm going to go ahead and brush everything off. That I have on there still. As well as going in one more time with that fluffy brush. I feel like after this, everything starts to go by so much quicker, like bronzer and all that stuff. This brush feels so good. Now, moving on, I'm actually going to go in with bottom mascara first. This is the Inika Long Lash mascara I like this one because it gets every single one of my little lashes so I do have a pretty short I have a lot but I have pretty short bottom lashes and this one gets every single one of them now going in with bronzer my favorite part because everybody's face gets transformed after bronzer this is the physicians formula butter bronzer so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that on my real techniques fluffy brush I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. What is left on my Sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up underneath where I want my contour line to be shown 
not all the way down to the corners of my mouth but just enough to where it'll clean up same thing on the other side now taking my morphe g30 brush it's just a flat dense brush i'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the laura mercier powder out of my cap and i'm just going to pat it over where i made that cleanup and this i am going to drag all the way to the corners of my mouth also down so i'm going to let that sit for about two minutes just while i finish the rest of my face makeup now for blush taking a morphe blush brush and the milani baked blush in the shade rose de oro you know this is my absolute favorite if you are one of my ogs what I like to do when applying blush is I like to kind of just like, you know, pop a little closed mouth smile just because I want to kind of focus more on the apples of my cheeks. Now for the best part and my favorite part, the highlights. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ombrezy Highlight and just apply. Then after cleaning it off, I'm going to go ahead and take that same Aesthetica Cosmetics angled brush that we used for the waterline eyeshadow. And I'm going to go ahead and spray that with some of my Smashbox primer water. And taking some of that same highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use that for the inner corners. Now before I move on to lips, I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and just Woo! So this is the finished look. I went ahead and did my lips off camera, but I lined my lips with the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner and then I put the Lorac nudist, nude, nudist, nudist. Put the Lorac nudist lipstick on top, and then I topped everything with my NYX shiny lip gloss because I love lip gloss and it just makes everything so much better. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below if you liked it and to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below if you are new and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Only if you like watching me, because if you don't, don't turn the bell icon on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs> Just totally spit somewhere over here. This is actually the second time. And brush all the... Oh. <laughs> first, like... Can't even talk. Going in with this. Blech. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassing. Yeah. Brush. It's just a really flat. Oh.